So what do you guys think? I rebuilt my workshop solar system. Previously, I had lots of test equipment and lots of old equipment right here. We had a battery that was 130 kilowatt hours and it was great for testing, but it looked really ugly. So I thought, hey, let's paint the wall a nice color. Let's put some carpet on the ground and then let's use new products that I'm still testing and try to keep a similar color scheme. And luckily the Ruxu tower, which I love, this is my favorite server rack battery on the market and the new EG4 wall mount batteries, they all match and it looks so good good with this midnight blue. And obviously I love Victron and I like the new 18K. I need to get a Solark so I can compare it, but I've loved this thing from the start. I've had practically zero issues with it. Now the capacity of this system and the footprint that it occupies is incredible. Previously, it took up half of my shop. Previously, the trophy battery stack went all the way out to here and then we had tons of solar generators on this space and it covered up this entire garage door all the way up to the wall. Now this entire garage door is completely clear. And even though it's so small, it's almost 60 kilowatt hours. And these are my favorite products right here. I thought to myself, what would I build if I didn't care about these products being tested? And what would I actually want in my own workshop? And this Ruxu is in short supply and I'm not sure if the company is gonna be good in the long run, but I love this thing. This is my favorite. Now with the wall mount batteries from EG4, they're not complete yet. The combiner box on top, if you don't have an 18K on top, you have these massive holes. And I bought some hole covers from my local Home Depot and they looked awful. So I'm gonna special order some other ones that look a lot nicer. Next, I didn't use conduit or PVC between these because I need to swap these out. And I'm probably gonna to have to take this battery out so we can do a tear down after I'm done testing it. Also, I tested the communication with the second battery configured in parallel with the 18K and it worked on the first try in a couple minutes. Now lining these batteries combiner boxes with the holes on the bottom of the 18K proved to be very difficult in my garage because there's a footing and it's uneven. And I did not mount these to the wall because honestly, I have no one here. I've been sick the last few days and I had no way to actually do it on my own. And if this thing was any higher, I wouldn't be able to access the display display screen. So I thought this was a good compromise and it looks pretty good. So what I did instead is I mounted the combiner box to this board behind it. Now wiring the system was very easy and it didn't take that much time. It looks pretty messy with the PV wires, but I don't want anything bundled because I want everything to be able to have its own room and to be able to dissipate heat. When you bundle up large DC conductors close to each other and you're running large loads, it's just a bad idea and you're gonna have heat spots. So I'm gonna hit this with a heat camera, make sure nothing is you know, creating too much heat in one spot and then we'll be good to go. Also, please ignore the insulation on this. I know it's not to code, but I don't care because I'm moving this constantly. I have to reconnect this to another plug over there. So I need this insulation on there, but I know someone's gonna complain about it. And in this box, we have a T-Class fuse supplying that server rack battery because with that capacity and that dead short current, we want to ensure that if something happened between here and that battery, that we have protection. So T-Class fuse connected to an amphenol connector so and then that's connected to the bus bar on the battery and the, those things can handle like 500 or 600 amps so everything is perfect here. Now all the equipment that I was using before, I'm either gonna donate to forum members that I've donated to before or that are locals here in Las Vegas, or I'm gonna be building it in my new shop. I'm building a 40 by 50 foot warehouse and we're gonna be putting all sorts of equipment and test stuff in there and it's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be much larger than this one and we'll be able to build everything because I think I've outgrown this space and the new place is gonna be awesome. So yeah, I just bought some land and I'm just slapping a building on it with a big slab so we can test out solar panels. But for this workshop, I'm probably gonna just keep this system for a while unless I find a better battery. Um, I like these batteries and I like this server rack stack and this server rack stack is not taking that much space because it's in the corner and it's not blocking the garage door. So I think this will be here for a good amount of time. In other news, I bought a box truck and it is incredible. It has a 2,500 pound lift gate and for moving these batteries around and then moving it up to the new property, it's making it a lot easier. And it's gonna be pretty busy building that thing out. I'm gonna make videos about it, but man, there is a lot of work to be done. So I hope you like my new system. I think it looks amazing. 
I mean, look at this. This is so nice. This is the first time I've actually made a nice system in this workshop. Everything previously was temporary systems for videos. But yeah, I like this system and I can't live without the 18K and all the grid interactive features and everything that I do with it. So yeah, this is probably going to stay here for a while unless we have something better. At the new property, I'm going to try to install a Solark. My friend installed his Solark recently, so we need to get a camera out there and see how he likes it. But yeah, it would be nice to compare it. The thing about the 18K and the Solark though is because they just work, there's not a whole lot to cover. Like, I did not rewire this since I got it until this week and it's just been perfect. So I really don't know what to say. Um, I've been doing inductive load tests on it and it just handles it great. So yeah, we can make videos about that, but again, it's probably gonna be boring because I use it every day for inductive loads and it just works. There's no drama. I just flip the switch and there it goes. But yeah, lots of videos to come. I wanna make some new ground mount arrays. I think we really need to cover that because that's the worst part of building a system. The batteries and stuff, this takes a few hours. This is not hard, but the ground mount is a pain in the butt. So I have a bunch of new ground mounts that I wanna test and lots of new solar panels. So we'll get to all of that soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.